Okay, so the main purpose of this video is to show you how to transfer or how to stream a set of uh, numbers from the Raspberry Pi to your computer or from the computer to the Raspberry Pi and we'll be accomplishing this using the UDP. So the code as such is written in Python and it's pretty straightforward I and it's basic socket programming and uh, it's not very fancy on the server side let if we take a look at it on the server side it is um, constantly sending out a string of numbers which is this part of code sock dot send to string count and uh, this is the uh, this is the UDP IP address of the receiver and the port number so and on the client side, so this is the server. The server is where you will be broadcasting your message. And uh, this is, I'm just printing out random numbers. I mean, it's not random, I'm just printing out a string of numbers. Like, it starts from zero and starts counting plus one. And that's what I'm streaming through this. And um, on the client side, the program is also pretty simple. It just reads, it just receives 1024 uh, bytes of data and then just prints it on the screen that's what it does um, and uh, in this video at, uh, in this video my computer will be acting as a server and sending out this data whereas I've burned the same I've over I'm accessing a real Raspberry Pi on the VNC viewer and uh, the Raspberry Pi will be acting as a receiver as a client so uh, let's start the client server up first okay sorry um, oh and uh, another thing is uh, is that if you want your data transmission to be faster i'll show you uh, you need to be decreasing the number of bytes that you receive and then print it so that way it becomes faster let me just show you uh let's uh Let's start the client side. Now the client side server is on, and let me go to the. Uh, this is this is this is my computer. Let me just start the server, which just starts printing out these numbers. So start. So as you can see on the Raspberry Pi, it starts printing out these numbers, and these numbers are by no means random. It's the numbers that I'm sending it from my computer, and that is being relayed onto the Raspberry Pi. Let me stop that, and you'll get a sense of what is happening. So. Um, so as you can see like uh, it, it sort of stops and it's like printing in blocks so uh, which is exactly why I was saying that if you if you, if you, if you thought this uh, data st stream to be really really slow as in printing it in blocks you can sort of reduce it to four bytes or uh, four bytes of data so in that way uh, it's much more faster let me give you a demonstration and uh, let's start the server side again and as you can see it's a lot more faster and uh, and it, so in that way in that way you'll be able to stream the data that is to stream any sort of sensor data from the computer to the raspberry pi and also from the raspberry pi to the computer enabling you to have some sort of a communication again this is the udp doesn't sort of ensure that okay but it doesn't sort of ensure that the packet packet has reached there or not but it still does a really good job and is really fast at what it does so that's a quick, quick demo on how udp works and how you can employ udp to transfer stream data from the computer to the raspberry pi have a good one bye bye